and uh, ask the coach uh, to give us his impressions of what happened uh, this afternoon. I think so having me, Mr. Vino, and uh, thanks for having me, the, the media panel. And uh, what uh, has transpired in the match is, uh, as Polo Kwan and City, we started very cautiously. Uh, just wanted to frustrate Chiefs more. We invited them to come at us, wanted to come with the break and the counter attacks. But uh, it didn't work well that much because uh, they were also sitting back and uh, we just opted to go at them. And it was a game of uh, transitions uh, whereby second half we injected the tempo of the match through the game at them and uh, they responded very well. But with the chances that we've missed, I think I've counted five that we should have scored. Uh, had we scored one or two from those opportunities, I think we should be victorious. That doesn't mean that uh, we are taking anything away from, from Chiefs. They also came at us and uh, one of the shots that they took, the keeper saved. Uh, so I think it was a good match for, for the supporters and uh, both coaches and the teams as a, as a whole. Good thing is that working with uh, members of the media here, they teach you things. And somebody here has reminded me of the manual, and uh, he's looking at his phone at the moment. And uh, we'll keep it at the right time. We'll put it at the right time. It, you forgot. We'll keep the press conference at the right time. <laughs> I gi I'm giving you credit. Aye, okay. Thank you. Members of the media, it's your turn now. I'm watching the clock, and you are uh, for the time to engage the coach. Uh, do you have a rubber mic? If your voice is powerful, go for it. Don't wait for it. My selector, it seems we're not ready that side, I'm not sure. Go for it, Peter. Go for it, yeah. I'm Chogazisi from Far Post Coach. Um, 11th clean sheet for Saponga. Um, and you guys have, have been good defensively. I mean, you look at the lock defensively, I think you're probably one of the top seven teams in terms of defensive record. What's been the secret in terms of you know, your, your, your defense? Uh, we have been keeping... Uh, the same defenders, the same defense, the same structure. And I think that is uh, what has uh, helped us a lot. Uh, consistency of the playing personnel. And uh, I think even the, the understanding of the two center backs coming from playing together at some point at their early stages of their careers and uh, coming to us, they just uh, marveling. So the defensive structure is well, is well, is well organized. So hence we are saying the whole team is defending well. It's not only about the defenders and uh, the clean sheets also goes to, to the whole team because the way we defend, it's, uh, it's amazing. It's amazing. And uh, we, we play from deep coming out with the break attacks. I think that is what is uh, helping us a lot. Thank you. Let's keep rolling. Rolling. Uh, it seems as if uh, my selector is not uh, ready. Let's try to be as audible as uh, possible. Kerry, one to? Um, Coach, um, congrats on the point. It's well deserved away from home. Um, a big figure like Itumelan Kune was celebrated today and honored, actually. Uh, what does it say to you personally? I mean, you cannot mention South African football without adding his name there, whether playing or goalkeeping or even lifestyle itself. Just from your side as a football person, what does it mean to have a Kune uh, being honored and knowing him, having him with an our football? Uh, it is, it is uh, very much exemplary from Kune for being in the football fraternity for so long. And it's a motivating factor for, for the young ones to, to to lead a, a, a good life outside football. So I think that is what has kept him for so long in football. It's a motivating factor indeed. Thank you. Let's keep rolling. Let's go a bit. Coach, uh, obviously uh, you level on points now um, in the fight for top eight, um, but you're playing TS Galaxy 
for the final game and they've just beat Bayern it's up in fourth place are you confident that you guys can still sneak into the top eight in the final game of the season if the opportunity avails itself then let it be so we cannot say we are not going to fight for the top eight spot we are ready to fight for the top eight spot and if if we have to go to sneak in in the last match then it's fine by us thank you uh, coach, I think it's also a football question, not particularly this match, but uh, news coming from Western Cape is that there's uh, history made in the, you know, it has never happened in South African football since it's in, uh, the league's inception, 96, 97, 72 points. My Mr. Nance, just words of uh, congratulations to them and their coach, uh, Coach Pizzo. Oh, sorry, <laughs> Coach Ulan Mugwena, sorry. Uh, I just hope uh, and wish that whatever is done at sundowns, uh, we, can, we can copy as the other teams because uh, they are doing a very, 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 very splendid work. So uh, all of the departments, I think they are, they are working hand in glove. So that is an uh, example for other, other teams. And uh, they're showing us that uh, consistency. They're showing us that uh, hard work, the level of commitment. Bravery and aggression in going to the matches, they will give you the courage to compete. So what they are doing is it's exceptional. Thank you. Let's go with Yes, uh, coach. Um, just to reflect on your season and, and looking at football and city, I mean, you've always been fighting in the top half of the table, and even now you are trying to get into the top eight. Um, what has been the difference between you? Uh, what did you do differently as a team that was promoted last season as compared to the other team uh, that has been relegated with that Cape Town Spurs? One thing for sure that we did was uh, to make sure that we don't lose matches. And if you don't lose matches, you have to defend well. So we defended well as a team. We defended well uh, as a defensive uh, group. And I think that is what has kept us in the in the league this season. And that is what we have done differently. Administratively? Administratively, <laughs> we are very good. <laughs> support is there, my man. The supporting structure is there. Yes, uh, Coach, I just want to check. Um, are you having any sort of discussions with the powers that be at the club with regard to your future? Because you always come when the, the struggle from the better commerce to help the team now and again, uh, and also if that opportunity comes of you taking the team on a full time basis, <coughs> are you going to take that, uh, that responsibility? Uh, I think uh, I've been here for, for the better part of my career, and this is the team that gave me the breakthrough into the PSL, and I think uh, whenever I'm given the opportunity, I have to to avail myself and uh, raise my hand to say I'm here to help. And uh, as for, for, for me being the, the leader of the team, as the head coach of the team in the near future, I think that one relies with the administration and the, the board of the team. Coach, um, for the one, I mean, you guys got to sneak into the top eight, like it's been mentioned. So, Kukwane looks like they'll finish there. Um, my guest has been promoted. Uh, Baroka fighting for a place in the playoffs. Um, what has been going on right in terms of Limboka football to see its team starting to do well? I mean, especially after dropping teams like that and its leopards in the past. And, and what do you think it, the province as a whole needs to do to ensure that it keeps this and then and sort of builds on? Uh, firstly, I would like to say I congratulate and we as the team, we congratulate Magezi for, for being promoted and uh, we welcome them into the Elite League and uh, the derbies will be more, so we, we encourage the other teams and uh, we would like also Barroca to, to qualify for, for the playoffs and be one of the other teams that is uh, uh, joining into the Elite League. and. Uh, what we are doing more good as uh, the teams from Limpopo is uh, the support that we are giving to each other. And uh, when you check the number of teams that are in the uh, Mutsepe Foundation League, most of them are from our, our province. 
most of them are owned by the people from our province. So it tells us that uh, Limpopo is the next is the next uh, province to to have a, a, a larger number of teams in the PSL. So it will be good for the economy of our province because of the traveling of teams coming there. It is also going to be economical to to our the ladies who are sailing there at the stadium. So it's good for, for the province. The last one, Mike Rolik. Sure. Uh, coach, um, uh, a player like uh, Apollis uh, has been doing very well for, for, for the club, for himself, and he's a national team player. Uh, how do you ensure that um, he, he, he remains um, grounded, uh, focused all the time, and uh, um, uh, and, and that he gets uh, proper guidance for the chapter. Uh, you, you have to to have the constant communication with your with your players. So I think with with Apolis there is no exception. Uh, he's he's so he's so downheaded. He's so level headed and. Uh, Whenever you take him aside and talking to him, he understands he's a boy that still wants to, to grow in football. And I think uh, he's, he's on the right track. Uh, he's a national asset because of himself. He's the national asset because of Polokwane City. He's the national asset because of the team that he's coming from. So I think the commitment that he has uh, is the one that is driving him and the motivation that he wants to go elsewhere. Is the is the driving is the driving uh, uh, force. is the driving force for him? So not going elsewhere around the country, but going elsewhere abroad. That is what is driving him. Let's close with your question, uh, Mr. Coach. Yeah? Is here. Yeah. Okay. So yes. Can you close uh, with the last one? Yes. In fact, uh, Coach, I was going to ask a similar question around the police, the Natuludi, some of the good players that you've had. Um, what is the policy of the club? Is it about um, giving them the opportunity to uh, prosper in life and also uh, football-wise in terms of making those moves? Uh, because I hear you talking about the police um, possibly going abroad. Is it sitting on, on an offices over? No, that one I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if he's got an overseas offer, but what I was saying is that uh, if the offer comes, it's not going to be local. It Coach, has to be. It has to be abroad. Coach Muhafe and uh, Tinsi and Tiza, uh, <laughs> all the best in your last game at home against Tears Galaxy. Thanks. 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 Thanks.